director's limit is 40000 the supervisor's limit is 10000 and it lists that purchases less than 40000 shall not require competitive bidding. Under the city's policy, the director's limit is 5000 Purchase between 10000 and 15000 does require competitive bidding. They're showing the differences between the two policies. Options. The, the first option is leave as is, with no fundamental changes. The other departments in the city would work together with Gardner Energy to improve communications between both sides. Better communications could go a long ways to reducing misunderstandings and helping to ensure that we are all moving forward with the same purpose. Second option kind of has two parts. One would be to fundamentally make changes to Ordinance 2296. The first part would be to make council oversights a little more authoritative. Um, almost a cafeteria plan, whether that's rates, whether that's economic development, whether that's fund transfer, the council be could become more involved in those items. But the utility board would still be there. It would still function as it currently does. But there would be some fundamental changes. The second part of that would be to move the board to an advisory level, <coughs> similar to planning and zoning. The board would still focus on electric, but would make recommendations. Council would make the final decisions. In this scenario, the day-to-day -day operations could fall under the Public Works Department or under a separate utilities department. Another option to consider would be to dissolve the Electric Utility Board. This would return control to the council with city staff making recommendations to the city council. Again, this could be placed under the Public Works Department or it could be placed under a new utilities department. Another part of that, you could create a board of public utilities or you could combine electric and water or you could combine electric, water, and wastewater. One of the concerns that there was a report done back in February 2012, I think the mayor and you were on the board, that reviewed an exploratory committee. Uh, one of the things that it recommended was possibly look at a public utilities board. Um, there's two ways to look at that. One is to retain control by the city, and one is to look at having independent control. It is a, I've been through the independent control side. It's a very time consuming process to get the legal paperwork done. And one of the things that was a problem with that was it was kind of a take or pay. They were their own entity. And the funds weren't there if we weren't generating enough revenue, the city had to pay up. That's one of the concerns that we would have with it, depending on the organization of the board. And the last item on here was something that was considered back in 2008, was to sell the utility to an outside provider. Right. With that. <clears throat> I do want to say that staff is not making a recommendation whatsoever on this. We just wanted to preside, provide you kind of the responsibilities as currently laid out, um, identify a couple areas where there may be inconsistencies or conflict in the ordinance itself, and just some options to look forward to look to as the city and Gardner Energy moves forward. Okay. A couple of things that I'm thinking about when we went, and I'm going to want to double back on some of the other items, but on the first options page, uh, when when you get to the fundamentally changed portion, is that meant to be one item with two bullets, or uh, because it, it seems to me that we could do it as one item or one bullet and a second bullet 
and the second bullet actually uh, we could do uh, something similar to the Planning Commission with water, wastewater, and electric, right? As opposed to just doing a, a, a public utility board uh, combining the same, right. correct? Right. Actually, what we're looking at is still that option fundamentally changed to leave the board. The first bullet under that was still leave the board with a lot of the current authority that it currently right. has, but take a few of the pieces out, whether that's rates, whether that's economic development, but this board still retains its, the power that it currently has. The second part of that fundamentally change was we still have a board, but we change it to more of an advisory level. So that's how we were looking at it. Similar to the planning commission. Correct. It's more of a, <coughs> a graduated, one's a graduated change, more, more, more one has a much more one's a, greater level. Right, one's a very dramatic change. Sure. <coughs> Can I make a, a suggestion on the per I mean, I think there, there's two things. <coughs> there's addressing the negatives, and then there's also the structure. And I think that if we go through and we talk about these negatives, and as a council, what, what we think should happen with those, that those may naturally lead us Leading to a resolution. structure. So, for instance, if we go through and we say, mm -hmm. basically all controls taken away or we're not we're we want them to operate just like this, then that's going to lead us, I think, to an organizational decision. Well, you mentioned talking about them, and so you're wanting to lead talking about the. I, I thought if we if we go through the negatives and kind of talk about these and say as a council what what's our kind of general consensus on how so for instance the purchasing policy if we come up as a council and say they should be the same right and and all of us concede to that then move on to the next one because no matter what we do I, I think we're going to say we want those changes implemented right. and then once we come up with that okay does that naturally lead us to a structure or for, for this sure. board or not board. Or some of it could just be ordinance changes and updates and some of it could be a fundamental change exactly. in the way the organization is put together. I think that's a great way to build it up, kind of build <coughs> towards the resolution and let it define itself. Okay. Okay. I agree. Well, I'd, I'd like to just kick off. I mean, we're, the, the first thing that's listed under negatives with the current configuration is economic development, mm -hmm. which I know has been a, 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 a minor bone of Intention in the in the past, but uh, something that and it's not on the agenda, so I don't want to talk about it in any length. Uh, but something that that we've been discussing and that we're hoping to bring before council is um, forming an economic development commission uh, that would work uh, with our partners, our, our economic development partners in the, the, the city, the county, and the metro area uh, to uh, work with the comprehensive plan and, and also try and, and harness the power of uh, professionals in the community and, and citizens in the community in such a way that we can uh, make good uh, choices as far as trying to lure new business to the area. If, and if the city is going to move in a direction where, we'll, where we're going to have our own economic development, whether it's a commission or uh, I don't really see it as an ad hoc committee, considering uh, how long growth has continued on, I think that it probably needs to be a, a standing uh, commission, yeah. uh, that, that that particular portion uh, is probably something that, that <coughs> shouldn't be falling in the, uh, an ordinance establishing the electric as a, as a board. Sounds good to me. Let's take it out. I mean, if this is your baby, if you want to take it out, then I think it, it speaks to the fact that it should be in there. But, well, so, so I, I, I mean, I will agree that we need to have an overall plan, um, and, and I think that that's moving in the right direction. But I also think that when you talk about specifically electric, um, there's opportunities outside of our little area 